Okay, now we're talking about homework seven, problem three. This is just a modification of problem one because all we're doing is we're adding in the atmosphere to the problem to see what kind of delay that creates. And what is the percentage delay that creates or percentage difference between um, the problem without the atmosphere that we did in problem one and the problem with the atmosphere. So I'm going to call the um, answer we got in problem one it's t0, which is the distance to the moon divided by the speed of light. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple of different things. We've got a t atmosphere, which is the thickness of the atmosphere divided by the velocity of light in the atmosphere, right? And that is just going to be the index of fraction of air times distance in the atmosphere divided by c. Okay, so that's the time spent in the atmosphere. And now the time from the atmosphere to the moon. Okay, time to the moon, right, is going to be the distance to the moon. Make that a small m. Distance to the moon minus the distance to the atmosphere, right, because we've got to subtract that out divided by the speed of light. Well, if you look, this is dm over c, right, divided by c, which is t0 minus d atmosphere over c, right? Correct? There we go. All right. Um, now, time of the moon plus time of the atmosphere compared to T0 is what we're after. So we're looking at the um, ratio. Ratio, right, of the atmosphere plus the moon, right, time spent in the atmosphere plus time spent going to the moon. divided by um, T0, Let's see if I can, oh, well, all right, make that 1 over T0 for the moment, okay, so what does that mean? Um, T atmosphere, let's say T of the moon over T zero, um, right, because if we go up here, this is, this is T zero, right, minus this atmosphere over C, right? So, um, this whole thing. is um, we've got several terms here. We've got the distance in the atmosphere over C over C onto the index of refraction of air minus one plus distance to the moon index of refraction minus one plus. Um, now that combines this term and that term, right? So this term plus that term gives us that, okay? And um, the other term we're left with is this is the moon divided by C, right? All of that times 1 over t0. Okay, so since 1 over t0 is um, dm over c is t0, then 1 over t0 times that is 1, and that's going to give us 1, right? So this term 
times that term gives us 1. And now this term times this term, right? Okay, so T0 is distance to the moon over C. So that's going to give us distance in the atmosphere divided by distance to the moon times index of fraction of air minus 1. All right, so our correction factor, because we've taken this ratio, I've been kind of clever about that, our correction factor is just that. That's our percent difference, all right? That's our percent difference. Percent difference is just dip, distance of the atmosphere divided by distance of the moon times, times index of fraction of air minus 1. All right, so that is um, 30,000 meters divided by 3 times 3 times 10 to the 8th meters, right, times 1.000293 minus 1. Okay, so let's pop over to Excel. Ah, distance to the moon. Got that completely wrong. I put in the speed of light. 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters. All right, 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters. Look up here. For some reason, I remember it differently up here. Ah! Up here was kilometers, which means I did this wrong. I have to correct that. All right, 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters. Pop over to Excel. Correct this to uh, have three more zeros. Okay. Um, 1.002293. Oh, 9, 3. Uh, so, 30,000 divided by the distance to the moon times the index of refraction of error minus 1. And the percent difference is 2.289. 2.289 times 10 to the minus 8th. equals 2.289 times 10 to the minus minus eighth. And if we actually wanted this in percent difference, I need to multiply by 100% out front. And that would make this 10 to the 6th percent. 10 to the minus 6. 10 to the minus 6 percent. And that's it for problem 3.